So let's talk about sound and light signals. So we'll be using infographics to keep it simple. So let's have a discussion about ship's whistle, that is marine horn. So any sound signaling appliance which is capable of uh, producing blast, and this blast has to be in compliance with NX3, NX3, that is a ship's whistle or marine horn. Well, whistle signals are specified in terms of short blast and prolonged blast. Short blast means duration about one second. And prolonged blast, the duration has to be about four to six seconds. Then we need to understand the equipment, the equipment which are used for sound signal. So if the length of the vessel is 12 meter or more, we need to have the whistle. And if the length of the vessel is 20 meter or more, we need to have whistle plus the bell. And if the vessel is pretty large, say the length is 100 meter or more, we need to have gong also. So whistle plus bell plus gong. So all the three items will be required on a ship which is having length 100 meter or more. So the whistle, bell or gong obviously have to comply the specifications given in Annex 3. That makes sense. On some ships, you may be having that may be replaced by automatic device, provided manual sounding of the signal is always possible. So we can have automatic device, but manual sounding should be possible. Let's talk about whistle frequencies. Well, length, if the length of the vessel is 200 meter or more, uh, it is going to be having a very deep tone. You can identify it. The frequency is from 70 to 200 hertz. Of course, you are not going to measure the frequency. And if the vessel is a small, say length less than 75 meter, the frequency will be very high, 250 to 700, and the tone will be very shrill tone because of the high frequency. And of course, the intermediate size, uh, 130 to 350 meter, is going to have the relative tone. You can't identify what kind of length you have unless until it is very deep tone or it is very shrill tone. Now, the talk about range of audibility, NX3 does not provide some statutory minimum range of audibility in a still condition, but typically for a vessel of 200 meter or more in length, around two miles in still condition, you should be able to hear the sound signal. Now we let's talk about maneuvering and warning signals. Well, the maneuvering and warning signals are applicable when the two vessels are in sight of one another. The light signal should be the light signal should be all round white light and the mini visible at minimum range of five miles. Eldering coast to starboard for part and vessel, one short blast. Eldering coast to port, two short blasts. By the way, these are part and vessel signal. El going Eastern propulsion, three short blasts, four part and vessel. Now, this doubt signal, it could be part and vessel, it could be sailing vessel or any vessel. That's why the term any vessel and it will be having five short and rapid blasts. In case you are nearing a bond or an area of channel or fairway with intervening of section, suppose this is the passage and there is a mountain here. So this vessel is going to sound one prolonged blast. And suppose there is a vessel inside here which cannot see, this is also going to answer with one prolonged blast. That the light signals are supplement to whistle signals. The duration of flash is one second. The interval between flashes is about one second. The interval between successive signal is not less than 10 seconds. Let's talk about overtaking in a narrow channel or fairway. So if you intend to overtake from a starboard side, two prolonged and one short blast. If you intend to overtake from port side, 
too prolonged and too short blast. And the vessel which is supposed to be overtaken in agreement is going to sound one prolonged, one short, one prolonged, one short blast. This is overtaking in narrow channel or fairway. The last is, uh, it's not the last, I mean, the sound signal in restricted visibility, whether you are in or near an area of restricted visibility for pardon vessel, one prolonged blast, when it is making way, when it is stopped, two prolonged blast, then NUC, RAM, CBD, sailing vessel, fishing vessel, any vessel which is hampered or even towing vessel, one prolonged followed by two short blast. The vessel being towed, one prolonged, three short blast. And the vessel engaged on pilotage duty is going to sound four short blasts. These are the restricted visibility signal. Restricted visibility signals. So time interval between two blasts, not more than two minutes. Time interval between two successive prolonged blasts, about two seconds. Okay. Restricted visibility signal for a vessel at anchor. Vessel at anchor is going to ring five rapid ringing of bell for about five seconds at interval, not more than one minute. Gong is sounded in half part for about five seconds after ringing bell for vessel greater than 100 meter. So it's a ringing of bell in forward part and ringing of gong in half part if the vessel is greater than 100 meter. Right. If the vessel is aground, then vessel at anchor signal plus with the bowl, uh, bell three, three separate and distinct stroke before and after ringing of the bell. That's what uh, makes the signal by vessel aground. And that's it.